All right. Good morning, everyone. It is an exciting, exciting day that we have right now because gold is right above that 2600 level. As I'm speaking, I'm seeing it climbing. It's at 2606 right now. But we also had the BOE yesterday keeping rates on hold. We had the BOJ this morning not doing too much. The press conference was on. And also we had or oh, we have the CAD with their retail sales number later tonight. But all that fails in comparison to gold forming a new all-time high. And we'll talk about that in this video. But first... Okay, here we are. Gold, an all-time high. Right after that, it's now sitting there at 26.06 right now. Okay, I hope you're all doing well. If you're on the session, do drop a message and say hi. Let me know where you're joining us from. <coughs> if you have any questions at any point in time, put it into the chat and let me know. And you can help me out massively by remembering to click on that like and subscribe button. And um, a big welcome uh, to Basanta, who's just joined us as a market explorer on the YouTube membership. If you haven't already, do make sure you join us as a member on YouTube. Okay. Um, but first, let's look at the news. Um, and also, I'll tell you that I apologize in advance. I am sniffing and sneezing like crazy today. So, uh, yeah, I might be doing that a lot, sniffing a lot and sneezing a lot today, okay, during the session. Um, hey, Suyun, how are you doing? What's happening to gold? It's climbing up. It's heading higher, higher, higher. Why? We'll try and figure that out. There's no big, big reason right now, but we'll try and figure that one out. Um, hey, Angel Case, how are you doing? Good morning. Okay. Now, 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 where are we? I'm, I'm a bit distracted with how gold is going. Uh, I do have positions opened. It's stop loss is way above the take the entry level, so it's all secured. But I just want to see how much high you can get to. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's get down to the business. First off, yesterday we did a live stream during the BOE interest rate decision. Cap rates on hold at 5%, no big surprise there. But the voting numbers instead of a 027 was a 018, which showed that there were members, there were one, one member who was supposed, who was anticipated or forecasted to vote to cut rates, shifted over to vote to keep rates on hold. Only one member from the BOE voting to cut rates with seven with eight members voting to keep rates on hold. What we saw as a result of that was on the pound dollar, I was expecting it to test and reject back down. It did eventually do that, but only very briefly. So it tested that resistance level of 1.33, came back down as low as 1.3222, before pushing back up again, right right now above that resistance level. <laughs> hey, Jew Marinas, how are you doing? Good morning. Then, so that was what happened last night um, with the BOE rates decision. No big surprise on unemployment claims for the US 231K, uh, two, two, or revised slightly upwards, expected 230, came out at 219. No big surprises. <coughs> ah, man. So it's going to be one of those days where I've got my tissue, I've got my nose going, all right? Just bear with me. Um, I was on the borderline of deciding, you know, I'm not going to do the stream today, but let's get it. Let's get it for the last session of the week. Hey, Top G, how are you doing? 
I am, hope you're doing well. I'm doing super. Now, 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 um, that's the BOE rates decision. This morning, um, did a quick live session during the BOJ rates decision. No surprise there at keeping rates on hold at a 0.25%. Read the rate statement together live on the stream for the members um, that was doing the members live stream. <coughs> no changes in the, no major changes in the rate statement, but in the policy statement, but they did, the BOJ did take out a whole chunk of reference about the um, JGBs, the bond purchases and their plans for that. So they took that out. Um, and then we just had at 2.30 the BOJ press conference. Before that, we had the UK retail sales number being released. It was a, um, where was it? Is it not moving? 0 0.5 got revised up to a 0 0.7. Expected a 0 0.3 came out at a 1. As a result, we saw the pound dollar push to the upside as well, right? So, now, oh man, just bear me. So that's what happened. Um, tonight also we had the retail sales number to come for the Canadians. It's currently a minus 0.3% is expected to go to a 0.5 on the retail sales and core retail sales from a 0.3 to a 0.2. If it does come out that way, we might see some strength coming back into play or to reinforce the strength on the Canadian dollar. So all that, but the main feature, and this only came around right now, the main feature is on gold, which is now at 2607, approaching 2610, right? 2607, approaching 2610. We're going to see how much higher can it go. Um, okay, let me see. All right, cool. Now, 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 let's get to the regular service. Regular service being, let's look at the dollar index first. Okay, so looking at the dollar index here, let me see, do that. Okay, looking at the dollar index here, last night or yesterday, we were right at this point here. I was expecting that it could test this support level before bouncing up to the trend line it did bounce up but not as high as i anticipated or would have liked it bounced off to 101 bounced back up to that round number level at 101 before trading back down to the support at 100.60 and over the last couple of hours look like it's trying to break that support level and push slightly further to the downside. Okay, so that's what's happening on the dollar at the, or that's what happened to the dollar before this session. Right now, sitting along this, I'll still call it the support level, we could or we should still be anticipating for further downside on the dollar. Okay, you can see that for tonight or for today, there are no big major news for the dollar. Right, no big major news for the dollar, um, but we are seeing the other major currency pairs gain against the dollar, in particular the pound dollar and the euro. Right, and um, and also gold. So um, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that, yes, still looking for the dollar to push down. Main thing is today being the 20th of September, we're looking at the dollar index tested, well, retrace, tested. Now it's at currently at 100.51 or let's say 50 um 
could trade lower, could retest, could test one hundred round number level. Okay, but also remember that we've seen a lot of volatility this week. It could um, end of the week could be a level where it does retrace too or retrace back. So what I'm looking at is 100, I would say a bit at 100.20. Could trade lower to 100.20 and could test 100 round number level. All right. Hey, Top G, um, I would, if you have re-edited my video as an example, do send it across. I would um, be keen to have a look at it. Okay. So that's the dollar. Currently 100.50. Should trade lower to 100.20. Could test round number at 100. Okay. That's straightforward. Then, looking at the Kiwi. Right, the Kiwi pushed up to 26, about 26.70, came right back down again, now looking like it's pushing back up. Um, at this point, anticipating that dollar weakness, I would still keep this view. Beyond this point, I would say that look for it to push up. It's kind of a trade that you could even do right now. Right, but we'll give it a bit of space 2260, 20 to 40 to the upside. Um, today's session could be a short and sharp, also because I'm sniffing like mad. Um, 0 0.6260, so 0 0.6260, stop loss 20, take profit 40. I'm thinking we could see even more upside on the Kiwi. Um, beyond that resistance as we anticipate more weakness on the dollar. But you look for that point first um, on the daily time frame. We could get up to that point at 23.60. Actually, you could do that. No. You go up to that next level first. I don't see 100 pips. I don't see 100 pips. I think you could do that. No, I do not have a Telegram group. Please, if you are looking at any Telegram group that has my name or picture or anything referenced to me, please be super, super careful. It is not me, it is not my Telegram group. Do not join, do not transfer money, do not um, get involved with anything that kind of looks like me on Telegram. Okay? Yeah, report it, report it, get out of it. Um, that would be the best move I would suggest. Okay, so Kiwi dollar 20. 6260 20 pips to 70 pips to the upside. Let's revise that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Then on to the Aussie. Um, Hannah, well, good thing you found me on YouTube. You know. Get them, get the 160 members to jump onto YouTube just so that I can tell them it's not me on Telegram. Do not join, do not deposit, do not do anything there. Join me on YouTube. This is, at least you can see me, right? At least uh, I'm here. So do that. Okay, um, now with Aussie a dollar, we've had a lot of lines here. It is still pushing to the upside. It did not retrace as we expected. So now I think that you're still looking for it to push up towards the resistance at maybe even 
0 0.69, that resistance level. I'm still sniffing. Hate it, I hate it. Um, push up to the upside. 6823 right now. Could you trade it up? Quite possibly. So you could be looking at 6840. Stop loss about 20. Take profit 50 pips to the upside. Towards 69. So 68. Four zero twenty to fifty. Zero point six eight four zero stop loss. Stop loss twenty. Take profit fifty to the upside. Good morning, Lindley. How are you doing? Hey, Richard. Good to see you. Good morning. All right, a little bit under the weather, but we're still here. Okay, so we've done Aussie Kiwi to the upside, anticipating the dollar weakness. We've done Aussie to the upside, also anticipating the dollar weakness. I'm looking for a possible, uh, possible. I mean, not this time, not this, not today, but maybe into next week, a possible rejection of that resistance level back down to the trend line, but that's going to take a little bit longer to play out. Okay, then uh, we'll skip Aussie Kiwi. We're going to change that out from next week onwards. Pound dollar didn't test and reject. In fact, it's pushed up. Top G yes i am on discord the link for discord i think you're already on the discord channel you can join us on discord um pound dollar pushing up i don't need that for now breaking above that resistance we can take that away we don't need that either Okay, so now as it pushes up, looking at this on the H4 first, then on the daily, just trying to find the next level that it could trade up to. Dollar is still, it's holding a little bit, so that's good. Break above that. Next resistance. I, I don't see it getting up that much. I would say let's look at that point first. Well, that's a good level. 1.37. It's not going to get to 1.37 now. That point. So back to the H1, to the current, what you look for is a continuous up, break above 1.3350, you do that. And then you look for that. So pound dollar is a bit in the middle. It's not a great place. I mean, it's getting into levels that we haven't seen since um, March 2022. Right? It's getting to levels since March 2022. So it's two years ago kind of levels. It's going to get interesting. Check the monthly. I'm, I'm on a daily already and it's there. Um, so again, back to the hourly time frame on pound. I would like to see it retrace. I would like to see it retrace, test this resistance turned 
support level before pushing higher. I don't see why it would retrace that much because I would like to do that instead. Right, slightly outside, that might be a reason why. So there are two ideas here on pound where you look at 1.3360, you have a very tight stop loss at about 25. You have a take profit at 75. That or we look for a possible retrace, bounce, and then a push up. Which seems like it's trying to do that now. Then you'll be looking at 1.3320. Stop loss 25. Take profit. I don't think you can put it up to 100 and 15 and then we can look to close it out anytime before that. All right. Um, give me one second. Sorry, I had to clear my nose. Okay. So I think I want to look for that on the pound dollar to retrace, test the support and bounce back up 1.3320, 25 to 115. Didn't sell back down, so we're looking to buy at 1.3320, stop loss, 25, take profit, 115 to the upside on the pound dollar. Look at the dollar index retracing. So what it looks like it might do is bounce this way and then back down again, right? So we're looking at that. So currently at 105, consolidating, no, 160, sorry. 1.100.60 consolidating should trade lower to 100.20 and possibly down to 100. We look for that. I don't like that one. To bounce, if that would make a bit of sense. I have that as a bit of a level to look out for. So we look for that push. Okay. Then on to the euro. Again, it pushed right down and then came back up again. Could have hit your stop loss if you if you did that trade. So it just spiked right down. Could have hit your stop. Uh, could have entered and then it went back up and hit a stop of 25 pips. <laughs> That's all because the dollar uh first strengthened back up and then pushed right back down again. Now, at this point, wouldn't do anything on the euro at this level, right? You've seen how it reacted up here. So as much as we're anticipating further weakness on the dollar index, what I think we could see is a gradual climb on the dollar up. Uh, we could see a gradual climb on the euro dollar to the upside right so pushing higher but i want to see it actually test this resistance level and possibly turn back down same like what it did towards the end of august possibly okay so you want to see it get up to that 1.12 level like that so it might do that a bit like the pound dollar retrace and push up, but then I might be looking for a bit of a rejection back down. Although that is going to be a big counter trend move because a dollar, we are looking at that downside. So no big reason why apart from maybe Euro coming back in, uh, rejecting that 1.12 level. Okay. So Euro as a, contrarian kind of view 
we're looking at put 1.1190 stop loss 20 take profit a good 40 back down again okay 1.1190 20 to 40. Okay, what I'll tell you as well is while I've breezed through the Kiwi, the Aussie, the pound, and the euro, um, it's also because that these pairs, you know, hasn't been as straightforward. It's been choppy, it's been all over the place. It hasn't been as straightforward as uh, what we've been talking about the yen and the gold and gold as well. So, like I've been saying, I think for the last month already, um, a lot of well, most of my trade, a whole good 90% of my trades <coughs> are on the euro and, the, and gold. Correction. They are on the yen and gold, right? So that's why I've looked at this. The setups are there, but I would still, in comparison, still prefer trading on to um, the yen or gold. Now with that, then looking at the yen, right? Like I was saying, no big surprise from the BOJ policy. We were streaming this during the release. It was sitting right there. Didn't do too much. It pushed up before the news. It came back down during the news release. It still sat along that 38.2 retracement level failing to break lower before the press conference it traded down and then on the press conference it came right back up pushed back up above um, 142 now at 143 we did from yesterday anticipate that the boj was going to disappoint markets i don't think at this level, I would say that they disappointed markets. I would say that they probably just didn't do. They they just keeping they just keeping um, still, right? They're not disappointing markets. They're not doing anything to change it. Um, and in fact, because of the way the dollar had been um, dropping. They didn't they probably don't want the yen to strengthen too much either that's why um, the governor the boj governor had come in and jawboned it a little bit right talked about how they can do whatever is required but economy is still slightly weak still needs time and that's why we saw the yen push back up at this point what you want to do is you see how it reacted um, on Thursday, tested the trend line and pushed down. On Thursday, again, night time, tested the trend line and pushed down. What you're looking for at this point is for the yen to come up to test that trend line and possibly push back down again. So we're looking for that kind of move back down. Uh, that's if it holds that trend line. Right. If it doesn't hold that trend line and it pushes right up, then don't do anything within this triangle. I like my triangles. Don't do anything within this triangle. If you are looking to buy the yen back up, you want it to break above 144.50, which is at 61.8, and then to trade it up. But I think that looking at the way the dollar is holding that support slash resistance level and anticipating a further downside move, it looks like any push to the upside is looking for a selling opportunity back down. All right, so with that on the US yen, what I'll be looking at would be about below 143.50. So 143, a test and reject like that a test and a reject of 143.50 you look to sell down 143.30 stop loss about 40 pips take profit you have that 100 pip 
back down and then possibly further to the downside after that as well if it breaks that trend line because there is also an ascending trend line that has been held over the last two times three times okay so 143.30 stop loss of 40 take profit of 100 yeah right there jamil for sure One forty three dot thirty stop loss forty take profit one hundred to the downside. Right. Sorry, one second again. All right, I'm back again. On and off, I'm back. Okay, um, yen, while I just popped away and come back, um, dollar yen is still pushing slightly higher. So you're still looking for the reaction. If you're looking to buy it up, I think it's a risky move. I do think it's a risky move, but you're looking at 144.50 to the upside. Then onto Euro Yen, it is being dragged up. It was doing very nicely to the downside, but it is being dragged up by the Yen. And also, if you look at the Euro sitting there, so the US Yen pulling to the upside is dragging the Euro Yen higher. That resistance is now a support. Take all that away. It's coming up to that. 61.8 level looking at the euro dollar it's sitting there it's pushing up so euro yen i'm thinking that in this case in, i would actually prefer that if you're looking to buy the yen i might actually be more interested or would suggest that instead of buying the yen maybe look to buy the euro yen instead All right because we're anticipating some upside on the euro dollar looking at the yen pushing higher what you could be looking for on the euro yen is 161 stop loss about 60 pips take profit towards that previous swing level at 160 to the upside All right so that's what you look for on the euro yen then on to the pound yen broke above that 61.8 so it retraced slightly we said watch out for that 61.8 it got up there came back down slightly now pushing up i wouldn't do anything on the pound yen in contrary to the euro yen because it is right in the middle there I think that you want to see this push up towards that resistance level and then after that we're going to see what happens because on the pound dollar we could see it push up so you could do short term i don't like this just because of having a bit of a weak um, um, stop loss level Right, so you could be looking at 191.60. The take profit is about 180 to the upside. Because 61.8 is broken, you'd be looking at about that point there. So your stop loss would be about 50 pips. So you're looking at a 50 to 180 to the upside on the pound yen. But I think what could happen 
is you need to see where it's going to retrace. I don't think it's going to continue up this way. It looks like it's going to do that and then possibly to the upside. So just be very careful. That's why I don't like the pound yen too much at this point. Okay. I'm absolutely sniffing and sneezing through this. So please remember if you're on the session, click that like and subscribe button. If you're not already a member, do see that little join button just beside my face there on the channel icon. Click join, be an elite navigator. We do have other private sessions. I've got more videos for you guys coming up as an elite navigator. Okay. Then on to the last three. US Swiss franc, keep it the same. Looking for it to push down. Trend line is still there. I'll drag this out and say 8, 4, 3, 0, 20 to 40 to the downside. No change expected there. US Swiss franc. All right, look at the US Swiss franc. Take that away. It's pushed down, right? It's pushed down a good. 20 almost 30 pips to the downside before pushing right back up again because of the dollar now pushing back up right and it's very odd it's very odd because it didn't push down when the dollar was pushing down but as the dollar climbs you see the cat climb back up so what i'm looking for now is for it to test the resistance at 1.36 again and break back down remembering again that tonight we do have retail sales number to come from the canadians looking like it might be a good number which could bring some strength to the canadian dollar so for now climb back up to 1.36 stronger canadian dollar to show a rejection back down maybe you could take a little bit of a risk on this and look at 1.35801.35805 oh, stop loss 20 take profit 50 to the downside so us cat you're looking to sell down at 1.3585 stop loss 20 take profit 50 to the downside yes um i would do 25 just to give you a bit more space above that resistance okay then to the big event gold right above that 2600 we talked about this yesterday currently at 2585 could trade up to 2600 and even form a new all-time high and what did it do one day later it was this was where we were this point here right 2585 it pushed up it came back down it pushed right up and now broken above 2600 formed a new all-time high just below 26.10 and it's sitting there right now on the Bollinger. Wouldn't be surprised if it does come back down a little bit, but we could still see it push up further. Like I was telling one of our members on the Discord channel, it's hard, it's hard to, as it form, as it goes discovery, what I call price discovery into new, realms um, in all-time high levels it's hard to try and figure out where exactly it could get to all right it's a bit of a guess work um, you know even if you did your fib extensions you're looking at it going to 26 18 26 20 you're looking all round numbers of where it could get to. So first, it needs to break above 26.10, could get to 26.20, could get to 26.40 that way. Okay, so on gold, um, what I'm looking at is that broke 
above 2600 needs to breach 2610 to get to 2620 i do have i do have a medium term target for gold medium slash long term target for gold um, if it does continue pushing to the upside i can't see any reason why or how it could come back down on a fundamental basis because everything seems to be set already but it could be a technical big technical retrace a uh, big technical correction back down but we're looking at it possibly pushing back uh, pushing higher i do have a level that i'm looking at i have i'm almost done on the video it will come out later today as well so do make sure you check that out okay like i was saying i'm super under the weather Hope this short and sharp session gives you a bit of an idea. I'm not entering many trades. I'm scalping gold to the upside. Please trade well, trade safe. Have a great weekend. I will see you all on Monday. Hopefully, you're feeling a lot, a lot, a lot better. Take care now. Bye bye.